afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I was just doing some cleaning up and I just found this in a birthday card that I got December the 15th. <laughs> I completely forgot it was in there. Alright, Holy Spirit, who do you have a message for tonight? <clears throat> is it a collective message or is it for a sign? Gemini. It's for you, Gemini. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing okay. Somebody's throat chakra is really struggling. I have some new spray here. This is um <clears throat> black tourmaline. Oh boy, does it stink, but it works. Protection. <clears throat> this is Palo Santo and White Sage Spray. This is my first time using this one, so we're going to see how it works. And I've got one of these on order. It's about empty. So I might as well put it in the throwaway pile. Oh, but that Palo Santo and White Sage Spray ain't a joke now. It smells good. Put some love on me. Wow, and it's made by Hemlock Park Smudge Mist Daily Ritual Room Spray made with essential oils. All right, I like that. All right, so let's check the energy and just see how well it works. I hope you guys have been doing well. I hope you're being blessed and prospered this new year. It looks like it's doing its job to me. We have a little bit of negativity here, but not much. Not much at all. All right, Gemini, what do you want to know? What is it you need to know for your highest and greatest good? I will tell you that as I was doing the pre-shuffle, this set of cards right here leapt, leapt out of the deck. Apology and higher self. For some reason, your higher self wants you to apologize. Apology and family home and commitment. Rejection and apologize. So you're. We think you may have rejected somebody and you owe them an apology. Oh, we got some cards that wanted to stick to the table. The apology card. For some reason, you have to apologize. And it has something to do with avoiding and being at a stalemate. I'm going to pull some more cards from there. But I want to start out with a prayer. Holy Spirit, can I have a prayer for the sign of Gemini? Dear God, thank you for giving me my family to love and care for. Help me share with them your spirit's warmth and love as you bless them with grace and peace. May we as one family live with you together in heaven. Amen. So your family is a concern to you, Gemini. All right, Insta Magic Oracle. May I have a message for Gemini out of the Insta Magic Oracle? 
The sounds that came through for this reading were she talks to angels by the black crows. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. And someone by Aaron Lewis. May I please have a message? Return to sender. So somebody's been doing white magic on you. It's time to send bad vibes back to their source. They may be from someone you know or and they may be from someone you know, an enemy or a frenemy, or it might have been <clears throat> some negative some negative vibes that were floating around that attached themselves to you. You're gonna need a candle, matches, or a lighter, a mirror, dried sage, or rosemary. Place the candle on a windowsill with the mirror facing it, behind it, with the mirror behind the candle. You need to put the mirror facing outwards with the mirror behind the candle, okay? The candle needs to be in front. Light the candle and repeat this three times. Negative energy, send my way. The mirror reflects the sender's way. Let the candle burn until the end and then follow up by burning the sage and cleansing the, with the herbs such as sage or rosemary. So you need to do a return to sender because somebody's been doing some black magic on you. May I have virtues for Gemini's life, please? You have integrity and gratitude. Integrity and gratitude with responsibility and gentleness. So maybe you got a little rough with somebody or you've been a little rough around the edges. Gemini's can tend to be a little rough around the edges. They get right to the point. And you have a lot of responsibility right now. So I can understand why you would be more serious and not so playful. All right. <coughs> but don't forget that being playful is important. It's important. What would your best friend say to you right now? Best friend for Gemini, what would you say? Say thank you to your body. Remember who you are. Say thank you to your body and remember who you are. So somehow you... This is not the first time that's happened. I do apologize, Gemini. <laughs> I'm getting a new stand. I'm going to get one probably tomorrow. I've had it with this stand and all of its BS. We might use that on that deck. We'll see. Okay. All right. Let's get Wisdom of the Oracle and pull some Tarot. Let's pull the Tarot first. I'm going to use the red deck for some reason. So that's what we're doing. All right. What's the overall Tarot energy working in Gemini's life? Temperance and the Empress. Temperance and the Empress. That's having self-control with a mother, a wife, a very high-level soulmate um, twin flame relationship. You're, you're having to be self-controlled and patient with this person, or they might be you. And seeing the truth, you're having to see the truth about this situation. And it involves forgiveness, responsibility, gentleness, gratitude, and integrity. 
Right. Let's see a little bit more about how this happened. And then we'll pull some of those oracle cards. How did this happen to Gemini? Gemini, you were in your comfort zone. You were clinging to your south node. You know, you were in your comfort zone. There's nothing wrong with being in your comfort zone. But it's a place of immaturity. Alright, what is being hidden? That you were closed off, guarded, and resistant, but it's in reverse. You planted some seeds. Or somebody planted some in you, so you would have a breakthrough. Your spirit guides helped you to have a breakthrough when it came to being guarded, resistant, and closed off. They have planted some seeds in you to help you break through that. <clears throat> and what's being shown that you're going to have the courage to change. Alright, what's going to happen next? You're going to transform because of nurturing and compassion. There's a lack of nurturing and compassion in this relationship. It's like there's somebody here who's in love and the other person is like, I don't want to be in love right now. Yeah, you're ideal for me. Yeah, you will be perfect for me. But yeah, I don't want to be in a relationship right now. I, I have to make a decision though. What's it going to take to have the courage to change? <clears throat> You're going to have to go through a dark night. You're going to have to go through some shadowy stuff. You're going to have to face your shadow side. When it comes to rejection, somebody's going to reject you, it looks like. Clarify facing the shadow side. Oh, that came out with force. Yeah. You're going to be in the hermit mode, thinking about this union with your intuition. And how you need to make a decision. But right now you have a lot of lack and doubt when it comes to this. Why does Gemini have so much lack and doubt about this relationship? Because somebody's guarded and they don't want to be vulnerable. It's like both of you are guarded. Or well, that might be you. How does the other person feel about Gemini? They feel like you're at a stalemate and you're avoiding this because you don't, you're you not in your life purpose and you feel like you sabotaged this and you maybe did sabotage this. You're also uh, in separation. How did they sabotage this? You were confused. You were in a situation where you were like, should I go that way or should I go that way? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And there was a family, a home, and a commitment that took you on a divine detour. So you had somebody in your life that was like family to you and then you went towards them. And I think Spirit sent you towards them. Put you at a distance from this person. Why did you put them at a distance from this person? Because you wanted them to feel what it feels like to long for somebody when you're in separation. Why do you want Gemini to understand that? Because your Spirit Guides want you to understand that this is somebody that's precious to you. It's an ace of cups. And you're cold and detached from this person. 
you're in love with somebody, but you're being cold. Why you got to be so cold? You're, you're so much in love with this person, but you will not open up towards them. You have a lot of healing that still needs to be done. Alright, let's see what the Oracle cards will say for you, Gemini. What message do you have for Gemini, Holy Spirit? We have the Appreciation card, the Broken Heart card, and Patience in Reverse. So, you have Appreciation, Heartache, and Lack of Patience. Number 15. <clears throat> Oh, you need to open your throat chopper. Number 15 is appreciation. Choosing gratitude. And we have gratitude here. This card shows a woman holding a single rose. She enjoys the scene and beauty of the single blossom. The scent and beauty. Yet around and behind her are bramble bushes. <clears throat> she could be focused on the bushes worried about the fact that she could get caught up in the prickly branches of difficulty instead she's pausing to experience the blessing of this single flower the sun is breaking through those clouds shining on her choice and on the new tiny bud waiting to open up this card upright is telling you that you have much to be grateful for. And like the flowering bush behind the woman on the card, there is a more there <clears throat> on the card there is more to come that you can't yet see. Congratulate yourself for every every moment that you choose appreciation. This decision shifts your consciousness from lack to value and it's guaranteed to bring more worth and richness to your life. Remember over here, it talked about you having lacks and doubts. Having appreciation will help you to do away with those lacks and doubts. All right, number nine. Something has broken your heart, though. This card shows a heart broken open, revealing darkness, emptiness, and a grief-filled tear. The hurt may be from long ago, or it may be a pain from a more recent event. Either way, a deep healing is called for now. Vent your feelings and release the the poison I cannot see vent your feelings and release the the person or situation involved it's time to let them go there's a person or situation involved in this you have to let them go vent your feelings and release this person or situation Affirm that you are reclaiming your power and, and peace of mind. Open your heart to the light of the divine love and healing and have compassion for yourself. Though this difficult process makes self-care, through this difficult process, you have to make self-care a priority now. As you let go of old experiences, you can open your heart to the true and abiding love that you so rightly deserve. So, you're grateful for the things that you have and the people that you have in your life. But you have a terrible, terrible wound in your heart. This feels like to me that it goes back to childhood. And that it's followed you your entire life. This this broken heart. And you have no patience either. 
All right, let's see how this may have happened. How did Gemini's heart get broken? Wrong Jack, card and wrong Jack. Somebody was hiding something that they were on the rebound. Somebody hid the fact that they were having a rebound. All right, let's be hidden then, since they were hiding that, that there's a new love. They're hiding the fact that they have a new love. What are they showing you? They're saying that they're unfazed. They're clueless. Y'all are family. Make them prove it. There's gossip. And it's time to make a decision. Alright, talk to me, Spirit, about the gossip. What's the gossip that's being talked about here? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's a lot of card turnover. Hold the thing. That's a lot of card turnover. I can't take that many cards. I'm putting them all back. <laughs> I think I got them all. Sure, that's a lot of cards. Let me just make sure I got them all somewhere here. Yeah. Oh, I got them all. Alright. Let's find out what the gossip is, shall we? Somebody's riding it out, but there's trash. Alright, what's the gossip here about Gemini and that person? Somebody's about to get kicked to the curb, and it's because somebody's attracting like a moth to a flame. <coughs> they have a lot of options. So, what does that have to do with this new love Gemini's person they're with now has? This person's busy. What are they busy doing? Ending something. They're busy. <laughs> They're busy ending something. They're saying the game's over. They're not playing games anymore. All right. Well, what are they doing? They're going to stand their ground and be ready for battle and defend themselves when it comes to a crush. What's Gemini doing? Gemini is getting their nails done and talking about you and your issues and venting about how you're falling apart. You're all torn up over this. Alright, what's going to be the app? <laughs> what's going to be the outcome of this relationship with Gemini and this person? Somebody's going to need anger management. Why? Because of family. Because this is family. And you're expecting a new beginning. Or somebody is. Somebody's expecting a new beginning. Alright. Why is the Empress here with Patience? Sagittarius is here with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, and Libra. Why is Patience here? Because of the King of Cups being unawakened. But having memories. Memories of what? A date. What happened on this date? Whoa. Somebody was playing mind games and being toxic. 
Alright. Why is the Hermit in reverse for Virgos here? Because you are waiting for future planning and needing to choose a path. It's like you don't even have to search very deep to know you need a new path. Which way is Gemini going to go? Sagittarius came out again. You're wishing you weren't, you didn't have so many choices. It's like you have a lot of choices to choose from and you don't know which one to defend. Which one should they defend? The world is here. Death is here. And the damn tower is here in reverse. Three major arcanas are here. Scorpio is here. Taurus is here. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius are here. Why is the tower in reverse? Because somebody has got to stop having their feelings. The Emperor has to stop hiding their feelings and tell the truth about what's going on here. It's time to open your mouth and tell the truth about what's going on here. What is the truth? That somebody's been waiting a long time for their will. So that they could make love to you. They're waiting for you to come back to them and to tell the truth. There's somebody waiting for you to come back to them and they've been patient and taming their hunger because they want you bad. They want they want you bad sexually and I think they're in love with you. Alright, why is judgment here? Because of a dark night of the soul and it not being time for this. But which caused this person to get left out in the cold, to not be recognized, and to not learn any lessons from this. It was just hurtful. Alright, what's going to happen next with that relationship? Somebody's going through a nightmare. It's a friend of yours that's going to a, they're living in a living hell because of this. The fact that you're with this other person is killing them. And this other person, why is this in the wrong deck? There's hope, Spirit says. Your other person has somebody else. The Spirit's saying there's hope. It was in the wrong deck. Hope for what, Spirit? Somebody's going to get pissed off. Because they've been dating and the grass wasn't greener. So I, why is that going to piss them off? <laughs> because you've been waiting. Waiting for what? You haven't... You've been waiting to online date. You've been pleasing yourself sexually and you're incomparable. You've been waiting for this person. You're pissed. You are pissed because this person wanted to go see if the grass was greener. So what are you going to do next? Card in the wrong deck alert. It came from right there. Moves in silence. What are you going to do next? You're going to have a commitment. Clarify the commitment. Gemini, you got away. It was your choice. And so, only you. They want a commitment with only you. What's going to be the outcome of that? Trust the plan. Not the right time. Why is it not the right time? You're worth waiting for. We know that, but well, why is it not the right time? Because right now, somebody can't be trusted. They're having an epiphany that you're all in their head. 
but you need to trust their intuition about healing, learning lessons, something unintentional, fantasizing, and being telepathic. Anything else we need to know before I put these away? I choose you. I'm going to let them go because I choose you. It was in reverse, but I'm not reading reversal. They're going to let this other person go because they choose you and they miss you. That's what it says. I don't know. Tell me what's going on with Gemini and this person that they're with. What's going on with Gemini and this person that they're with? They have a warning. A warning about what, Spirit? Interfering? Interfering in what? Something strictly sexual in abundance. You're warned, Spirit says about interfering in this and it being strictly sexual and about money. Go slow, Spirit says. Alright, what's going on with Gemini and the other person, the twin flame? You guys are having time apart. What, what's going to be the outcome of the time apart? Trust. Why would they trust somebody who's doing the strictly sexual thing? Because there's chemistry between them and this soulmate. So what should this twin flame do? You need to take a leap of faith. And show forgiveness. Why? They're still doing it. Because right now you're on different pages and you're vulnerable. What difference does that make? Somebody is regretting that they're married and they're longing. Longing for what? They have an obsession. Obsession with what? A friendship who has children right now who is balanced and supportive. And they've mastered a spiritual lesson and they take care of themselves. Spirit says you need to play hard with them. What's going to be the outcome of this relationship? There's going to be a second chance because it's protected. And their finances are a factor. Why are finances a factor? Because some of these are unavailable and they have integrity. Why are they unavailable? Because they're healing and awakening. And using their intuition. Anything else we need to know here? There's going to be abundance. I'm sorry, but you're going to have boundaries because somebody has an addiction and needs to take care of themselves. Will they, Spirit? There's a past life love that's going to be released. Released why? Use your intuition. They're going to make a decision. <clears throat> Alright, anything else we need to know here? There's a lot of memories. What about these memories? Somebody is hoping... And running wild. Hoping for what? Divine feminine. Farewell. One day, someday, but not today. Because they're sidetracked. There's a card in the wrong deck alert. Somebody's having flings. Another card in the wrong deck alert. It's Divine Masculine. Another card in the wrong deck alert. They've been pretending that this is not a spiritual connection. 
Cardinal Deck Alert, Epiphany. Card in the wrong deck of art. Card, 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 card. What is it? Just these few cards here? Okay, this is the one in the wrong deck. There's a lot of drama. Why is there a lot of drama? Because somebody's running. What should Divine Feminine do instead? You're clinging to this fantasy, and there's going to be consequences. Clarify the consequences. You're gonna have to, you're gonna be afraid. Afraid of what? Longing and clarity. What is the clarity? That somebody's receptive. They have a resentment, and they're trapped. This person's nowhere near ready for a relationship, divine feminine. They're shallow. Let's see where they are compared to you. Where is this divine masculine spirit in solitude? Where's the divine feminine? The, the divine feminine keeps coming out as the twin flame. What's connecting the two? Inner child healing, feeling the vibes, and forgiveness. Con thinking about forgiveness. Why is Divine Feminine showing up as a twin flame? Because the answer is no, and they're being admired. This relationship is on pause. Will it ever come together, Spirit? Somebody feels like a victim. They have to refocus and return. Will they return? They're getting reinvented. Will they return? When they take off the mask, make an offer. Right now they're at a crossroads. What are they leaning towards? Healing, and then what? what? What happens once they've healed? In the spring. What about the spring? This could be last spring. They were doing some numbing. But now they, oh, there's the pause. They received something. They want a fresh start. They have big dreams. And they want to have union. There's a pause here. This cycle is almost over. <clears throat> Whoever you are, the cycle with this karmic situation, whether it's a person, place, or thing, is almost over. All right, can I get advice for Divine Feminine, please? Advice for Divine Feminine, please, when it comes to this. If you're resonating with this, don't make it something it's not. If it's not your reading, it's just not your reading. You're lifting the veil of illusion and becoming more conscious of the world around you. You're seeing the truth about this. Don't call them if you have an agenda. All right, what about the my masculine? Oh, that flew out with force. <sighs> Expectations lead to disappointment. And when you look into their eyes, you recognize their soul. And don't let anyone play mind games with you. Somebody playing mind games with you is that karmic. You know the truth and that's all that matters. They're telling people that they're not your twin flame, that you're full of shit. That you're crazy as a batshit crazy. You're just crazy, 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 divine feminine. <laughs> How are the angels helping spirit? We already knew that, though, didn't we? They're giving you fire and a divine plan. Don't burn nothing down now. And they're giving you purity. That's beautiful, divine feminine. All right, I'm going to look at your money. 
Talk to me about divine feminine money. What's going on with her money? She has stability. The past. In the past, her money came to a halt. But she cracked, came up with a craft that would make her happy. Her, she has stability. In the past, her money stopped. But now she's a crafter and she's happy. Clarify crafter. She had new gifts that were activated. She's been celebrating an investment she made and she's being promoted. What about Divine Masculine? What's going on with Divine Masculine's friends? Man, that came out. There's a lot of cards coming out. Alright. You're going to have a surprise. Be persistent. Get into your life purpose. You've been unreliable. You're at a crossroad. You're a writer and you're self-made. And two cards in the wrong deck. You're also worried if they'll call or not. Let's see. Will they call, Spirit? Will they call? Oh, there it is. Communicate clearly. <laughs> I would say probably. And then I got take action. So maybe you should call them. And a year from now, so it could be a while before they call you, but you could call them, is what I was getting from that. All right, Oracle Cards for Divine Masculine Spirit. Oracle Cards. Divine Masculine, you're going to have a beautiful commitment. What about Divine Feminine? You're getting clarity and answers. What's connecting the two? Life purpose. You're meant to work together and be empowered together. You have something special to do together on this earth. And I'm going to pull a special deck that I don't normally pull. Because I spilled coffee all over. <laughs> All right, Spirit, show me this purpose that they have together in this lifetime. Nope, 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 nope. Lemuria, creating heaven on earth is happening. The crumbling. What are you clinging on to? What are you holding on to that it's time to let go of? Don't deem to fit in. How are you doing your light in order to fit in? You're telling people lies about what this relationship really is. And the grandmother of Jesus seeing the light and laying a foundation of a divine plan. She had to have a lot of faith to do that, didn't she? Trust the niggle. What is that niggling feeling telling you? That feeling you got? What is it telling you? Oh, y'all got a big plan. A big one. The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening to you, not for you. I mean, it's happening for you, not to you. And keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So you have a help. And all the cards fell on the floor. Lord Jesus, have mercy. I don't know if y'all are supposed to even be in a relationship, but it does look like you have a subtle of the card turned out along the floor. I'm going to show you what it says. Let's see what it says, because it was the only card of all of these cards right here that was turned over. 
awakening, energetic upgrades, a new day, a new way of being, and you're, you're integrating. You're integrating these new ways into your life. Slowly but surely. And then, star seed. What lights you up? <clears throat> you are a star seed. A star seed. Alright, let's see. What would Divine Masculine secretly say to Divine Feminine? I miss being with you and I feel the sexual tension. What would she say to him? I watch your social media. I daydream about a life with you. And I still feel the pain with I would do it all again. Isn't that sweet? That is so sweet. Alright, now I'm going to pull something that I don't ordinarily do. These are cards that I made. And I hardly ever pull them out. Alright, yeah, may I have one card please at a time? Of the cards that I created. I want to build a home, family, and future with you very soon. Please forgive my bad decisions. Thank you for the unconditional love and for always giving your love so freely. I promise to make things more balanced. You deserve my best. Thank you for believing in me even when I didn't. When I didn't. This makes me feel bad for leaving you alone when I should have loved you. Thank you for loving me and seeing through the bullshit. I'm tired of hiding the tr my true feelings, see? I just need more time to sort things out. I will come back to you in divine timing. And you were created for more. You have the key to open your prison door. Use the key of faith. And angels are showing me synchronicities and pointing me back to you. You are my everything. This person loves you so much. And they will be back. Let's see what kind of shadow work y'all need to do. What kind of shadow work does Divine Masculine need to do? The Divine Masculine, you're cold, baby. Why are you so cold? It makes this feeling, this rejection, that's, that's where the rejection comes in. Alright, what about the nine feeling? What does she need? Good God Almighty. Sometimes she can be a coward. She feels repelled, disillusioned. She can be manipulative, irresponsible, and envious. What about an old man? He's got to be more than cold. Oh, here we go. He has a lot of doubt. He's disconnected. He feels unlovable. He's medicating with some kind of substance, drinking or drugging. He's embarrassed. He's haunted. This feels one-sided. He's an escapist, and he feels empty, damn, and judgmental. This is so, so sad, because this is a beautiful relationship when it's just the two of you, but when you move from just the two of you outside of that, it gets ugly quick. I mean quick. All right, let's see. I'm going to get you one of these, and then we're going to get out of here, Gemini. Thank you for your patience with me. All right, may I have one of these for Gemini Spirit? Why are you so ashamed and so cold to this divine feminine? That's so unfair. And it sounds like she's done a lot for you. Daughter of the Sacred Heart, and be there for you. <coughs> Would be your own hero. <coughs> And I sense that you are, Divine Feminine. Number eight. Number eight.
you are going to free yourself from a painful criticism or judgment held against you, perhaps by yourself, perhaps by another, perhaps by a group of people. Human beings do not have the spiritual right or the, the spiritual right to condemn each other or ourselves. Every human being is here to learn how to grow and every human being will make mistakes along the way. You are realizing that you can claim responsibility for your actions and make amends where needed without ever deserving to be attacked or put down. You are realizing that you do not have to be perfect to be part, pure of heart and deserving of respect and kindness. This makes the mother very happy. Number four, be there for you. Sorry, I'm having trouble seeing tonight. My eyes are blurry. I'm tired. Be there for you. It's time to let yourself off the hook. Don't interpret. I'm so sorry, y'all. But I have something to do. My moon water. Okay. <clears throat> Don't interpret the behavior of other people or circumstances beyond your control to indicate something negative about you. Forgive yourself for anything that you feel like you've done wrong. You can learn from your choices more easily if you stop punishing yourself. Whenever you, whenever you feel that you've made a mistake, even the decisions that we regret can help to grow, to help us to grow wiser when we stop swap judgment for compassion. Sometimes we can only learn what we need to know from what doesn't work out so well at the time. Forgive yourself, have your own back, and be good to you. <coughs> My throat chakra has tried to close this whole entire reading. Somebody does not want to hear this message, but too damn bad. All right, number 15. In a reading, Believe that you are worthy of an amazing life. You don't need to feel guilty or hold yourself back to make anyone else feel comfortable. You don't need to be timid or uncertain, worrying that you are becoming too much or too much for someone else or asking too much from the universe. Living a great life is not about competition with anyone else. Living a great life helps inspire others to do the same. It doesn't take anything away from anyone else. If your dreams both excite and scare you, that's a good thing. Give yourself permission to go for it. Go after what you want with a happy heart. All right, let's see who Spirit's been talking to, y'all. Number two, D, G, C, L, B, M, J. If you don't hear your initials, that doesn't mean it's not your reading. Sometimes Spirit just gives us that little something extra, and now I have a K. Q two H W T S G V C C O P N E H. Uh, 
I'm ready for some new love in my life. I'm ready to move on. Have some mind blowing sex with somebody that I'm in love with who will treat me right. And just move on. F N L E P I 2 K. I'm not waiting another minute. I'm not wasting another minute waiting for somebody who can't make up their fucking mind or who's already made it up and it's not me who has chosen. Fuck that. FX10 MDSFT. Trinkets, please, Holy Spirit. charging crystal. I got a skeleton key. I got you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. A rubber band. Always remember you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and love more than you know. Me versus me. A marble. A butterfly that says miracles happen. An N. An N. A piece of crystal. Your name could be crystal. Love. Another butterfly. A coin. A family tree. A heart that says love. A flamingo, a sea turtle, a unicorn, hey unicorn, a cross, a turtle, a starfish, an Eiffel Tower, Life is a gift. A crown on both sides. Every wait, give a girl the right shoes and she can conquer the world. Marilyn Monroe. It looks like an elephant. Yeah, an elephant. It's a Catholic pendant. A leaf for the fall. An orchid. A flower that says I love you. A leaf for the fall. A triangle. It could be a love triangle. <laughs> a cross. A leaf. Something's going to happen in the fall. Flower. Another coin. Somebody's into cryptocurrency big time. A heart that says made with love. And the head of Jesus. And I don't know if anybody else has noticed it or not. But I have not pulled the nail out of the bowl since my husband Wayne passed. And it always represented him. Because he was a carpenter for 35 years. All right, Spirit, what would you give me out of this one? Wow, I'm getting a lot. Hi, right, I got a feather. Cherry. A skeleton key. Somebody needs a key and I got it. A rock and roll note with a skull on it and every fair from fair sometimes declines William Shakespeare a metal headgear the world a bear an aha light bulb 
I can see, I can see an octopus or a squid, a prick or a cactus, a dragon, an Eiffel Tower, a ball, and a horse. You might be from Kentucky. Alright, you guys. I hope you have a blessed day. I love you guys with all my heart. And I'll be back tomorrow. I gotta go to bed. I'm so tired. God bless you. And good night.